The Spigen MagSafe MagFit car vent mount has gotten to be my favorite MagSafe car vent mount. And it's just $17, it's also the cheapest. And there are a few other things you're gonna to have to buy too to make it all work, but I'll get to those in a second. I've experimented with four or five different MagSafe car vent mounts, but I always come back to the Spigen MagFit car vent mount. Mainly because of the way that it clips onto your vents and is securely, you can secure it here with this ring. And also on the back side here, this rotates on a ball and you can secure it in the position you like with that ring. The beauty of this setup is that the Apple MagSafe charger fitting inside the Spigen MagFit mount will charge your phone whenever your phone is attached to it. Just as if you would have the Apple MagSafe charger on your desk or in some other location. Of course, it's MagSafe compatible. This is my iPhone 12 Pro. It has MagSafe magnets in it that match with the ones in your phone and in the MagSafe compatible case that you have on your phone. It will work with the iPhone 12 or 13, any in those series. And it's even strong enough to hold the iPhone 12 or 13 Pro Max. The nice thing about the Apple MagSafe uh, charger is that when you put your phone on it, it tells you right away that it's charging. Now, when you purchase the Spigen uh, MagFit mount, it only comes with this plastic housing and these rings, ball joint, and clip that I described to you before. It does not come with a very integral part, which is the Apple MagSafe charger. Hey, before I forget, if you're getting value out of this video, please give me a like. And if the spirit's moving you, subscribe. The Apple MagSafe charger has a USB-C connector, which means it needs to plug into a USB-C port, which a lot of older vehicles do not have. The other thing to consider is for the Apple MagSafe charger to put out its full 15 watts of charging power, it has to have a power source that's at least 20 watts. And even on a new vehicle, like the one I'm in right now, it has a USB-C port, but it only puts out 15 watts, which means it's not going to provide all the power that is needed for the Apple MagSafe charger to charge your phone at full capacity, which means for most people, you're going to have to buy one of these. This is a car charger made by Nectech. Uh, I paid about $26 for this on Amazon. It plugs into your cigarette lighter. And the output on these is 45 watts for USB-C and 12 watts for USB-A. Now, the 45 watt output on this is really overkill. Like I said, Apple only recommends that you need a minimum of 20 watts and able to be able to put 15 watts to their Apple MagSafe charger. But I went ahead and got a little bit higher wattage because I thought maybe at some point I might want to plug in my uh, MacBook Pro that might need more, that will need more wattage. The Spigen MagFit car mount is $17. The Apple MagSafe charger is $34. At the end of this th one meter cord, you have to plug it into a power source. And in this case, I use the Nectech uh, USB power source, which cost $26. So that's the whole setup. So add all those together and you get $77. So you're starting off with a very inexpensive car mount, but I really like the, how well it's, how easy it is to adjust, how well it stays on the louvers. It does accommodate the Apple MagSafe charger so you can charge your, your phone at maximum capacity. And then you just have to purchase another USB power supply that plugs into your cigarette lighter, a 12 volt cigarette lighter, and you've got the entire setup ready to go.